Brad Woolnett, and Sam Fajo coming to you from sunny San Diego. It's approximately 7.30 a.m. on this fine Sunday. Today's top story is the election between young, beautiful, and bright JFK and average Nixon. Some other headlines include a recap in the year's popular music, advancements in civil rights, action taken towards Vietnam, some downsides to Kennedy, the year's new technology, and a new contraceptive for women. Now over to Toe Frazier with the report on the election. Take it away, Toe. Hello, Toe Frazier here coming to you not live from Washington, D.C. The election has just come to a close, and to our relief, JFK will be the 44th president. Kennedy took 49% of the popular vote as opposed to Nixon's 49.6%. This was the closest election in American history. Despite how close it was, Kennedy managed to take two-thirds of the electoral vote. Kennedy will be the youngest president to ever take office at the age of 43. We can't wait to see what big things come from him. And now, a word from our man, Sock Lesnar, to talk about the te new technology of today's day. Sock Lesnar here again. Today in technology, we have created valuable instruments to aid the future of this great nation. Theodore Maimon was able to create the first operational light amplification by simply simulated emission of radiation, otherwise known as the laser, on May 16, 1960, in a California laboratory. He flashed a high-powered lamp on a ruby rod with silver lining to make the laser. In addition, the learning robot toy was invented and able to perform tasks and learn from it, its experiences. It's basically a machine with flexible memory circuits. Lastly, the first satellite named Tyros Television Infrared Observation Satellite was launched on April 1st, 1960 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It could show cloud formations and weather patterns as well as predict future storms. It orbited 450 miles high and could take one image an hour. It was a huge success, according to President Eisenhower. Back to you in the studio. Now Brad, go and tell us a few things about this new president of ours. Recently, we have acquired a new president, President John F. Kennedy. Although he is adored by many Americans, some feel that his religion and age will affect his leadership. He is the first Catholic president we have ever had, and the youngest president to ever be elected. Some think that this will lead him to making irrational decisions and affecting his leadership. Back to you in the studio. Good morning, America. Martin Kankles here coming to you with the top news on women. Earlier this year, the pharmaceutical company Surreal tried to get the first birth contraceptive approved. The pill had to undergo tests about a dosage size, and the FDA also had to find out what exactly the pill did to women's bodies. They concluded that the pill increased a woman's safe period. After the long process of trial, then the FDA granted the approval of the pill. The pill was approved in May. This was the first oral contraceptive to be legal and Surreal is the first company to provide it. Back to you in the studio. 1960 was a very eventful year for the war in Vietnam. In April, oh, universal yeah. military conscription is imposed in North Vietnam, and South Vietnamese nationalists send a petition to President Diem. Diem ignores their request and proceeded to close several newspapers and arrested journalists from South Vietnam. This led to the South Vietnamese attempt to overthrow Diem. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was to no avail. Tension continues to rise, and it is becoming clear that the United States will need to send troops to combat the communist North Vietnamese. Thank you, Marvin. Now we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll get back to you with the weather in a few. Are you losing your friends, self-confidence, your woman, all due to your hair loss? Well, maybe you should try the new Woolsey formula for hair growth and extension, made by the new Woolsey hair products. First, apply the Woolsey formula for hair growth. Rub into scalp deeply to nourish the hair. In just a few years of applying the Woolsey hair formula, you can have hair just like this man. I love my new hair. It gives me confidence to do things that I didn't do before. Woolsey is great. Now over to Sock Lesnar with the report on civil rights. 
Hello fellow Americans, Saf Lesnar here. This will go down in history as a momentous step in civil rights. On February 1st, 1960, four African American college students sat down and ordered at Woolworths in Greensboro, North Carolina. The request to be served was denied, but they remained sitting at the restaurant, even when they were asked to leave. News spread of the peaceful resistance, and more students began to join in. The movement became well known nationwide and was a key beginning to the youth resistance. In the end, Woolworths reversed its policy on racial segregation. Back to you in the studio, Brad. Now we head to Marvin to talk about the new music in this era. Marvin here again, giving you that top story on music. Music in the 1960s revolved around rock and roll. One of the most influential rock stars this year was Elvis Presley. Parents around America believed his music was related to witchcraft and hated it. Some of his famous songs include Elvis' Back, His Hand in Mine, and Are You Lonesome Tonight? Here's a clip from his live performance last week. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry for your Does your memory stray to a bright summer day when I kissed you and called you? Sam. Now that's all the time we got tonight, folks. See you tomorrow at the same time. Stay classy, San Diego. Diego.